Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Today we're going to talk about small games, whether they're card games or dice games that either sell for a lot of money or have a high sell through rate. At my local thrift store, there is a big tote bin full of card games and just small like pass the pig type games with dice or it seems like they just take all of those games and just throw them in there. And most of them are 50 cents a piece. There are a few that they have marked at a dollar, but some of these games can sell for a lot of money. If I don't have time to sit and look things up on the spot, it's nice to have at least a few things that I know that I can look for. The first game is called Uno, Show Em No Mercy. And this card game sells really, really well. It, so here you can see over 1800 sold for this game. And I pulled up the Terra Peak on this one. And I'll show you in just a sec, if you don't have Terra Peak because you don't have an eBay store, I'll show you how you can kind of figure out what the sell through rate is just uh, off the, I'll show you in a second. It'll be easier to show. So here on Terra Peak, if you have the eBay seller hub from having an eBay store, you can access it right here through research, Terra Peak product research. But this card game, Udo Uno, Show No Mercy, has an 80% sell through rate with an average sold price of $20 or $21 about. And if you're able to get that game for a dollar or so, if I saw this in the bin at my thrift store and I could pick it up for 50 cents to a dollar, that's a really good 17, 18 dollar profit. The next game is called Grandpa Bucks Cover Your Assets. And I, I've never played this game, but I have a friend who said it's really fun. So Cover Your Assets. This one sold, so there, there were 127 and this sold. So you can see there's a few others that squeaked in here from, I don't know how, but if you're looking at sell through rate, let me come back over here to this Uno No Mercy. So you can see here that there's 1800 plus results for sold. So if I take this off and I'm looking at that number and 1800 sold, how many are up for sale? See there's 663 up for sale. There's more sold in the last 90 days then there are listings for sale. So that tells me that that's something that's selling really well. If this number was 663 and then there were like 10 sold, I'd be like, oh no, <laughs> that's not gonna have a good sell through rate. And as we're going through these, I don't always go by sell through rate, but there are certain things that it's kind of nice to know that it's gonna sell quickly. So here you see, I, oh, I pulled this up for here. Cover your assets, so 44% sell through rate, which is pretty good, $13.88 average sold price. I know there are some people who see $13.88 as a not a very good or not a high enough amount uh, to sell an item for, but for me, I don't mind selling things that bring me five or $10 profit because this is what I do to support my family. So I'm like any amount of profit is a good amount of profit. And we can, oh, I'll go ahead and do it now since we're talking about it. So I have the U, um, the eBay fee calculator up just so you can see. Let's say I had that game and I sold it for, let's say $13. And I ch charge $5 shipping because I don't do free shipping. And it cost me a dollar at the thrift store. You know, shipping cost me a buck or four fifty to ship it out. And I have a basic store, top rated seller. So after fees and everything, it's a $10.20 profit. So for me, that's pretty good because I'm being a single mom and supporting my kids, I don't mind that. So everybody's a different type of seller. If that's not enough profit for you, we'll just forget that game and we'll move on to the next one. But for me, if I can, especially something like that, if I can make a $10 profit off a card game that I can sit on my shelf and it's gonna be easy to store, easy to ship, easy to everything, right? Easy to list, then that's what I'm gonna do. Now, if I've got a table that I'm gonna make a $10 profit on, I might not do that. But when it's something like this, $10 profit, phenomenal. Here we've got a game called Gubs, a game of wit. Look at this seller. I mean, talk about, they must've bought a whole bunch of them, but this is the way to do it too. If you've got something that's, whether it's a low profit item or just like, hey, I can sell a bunch of these. 166 sold from this one seller and they have four left. So that's fantastic. 
gubs. I kept wanting to call it grubs. Uh, all right, so 87%, oops, 87% sell-through rate, which is fantastic, and $24 average sold price. So be on the lookout for gubs, not grubs. But if it helps you remember, looks like a little grub on the front. Only well, grubs don't have antennae, do they? Next is a game called Santa Cookie Elf Candy Snowman Card Game. I don't know what this card game is about, but it sells really well. And while the average sold price is around $10, the sell-through rate is 70%. So if it's something I can pick up for 50 cents or a dollar and sell it quick for a quick five to seven dollar profit, I'm gonna do it. Next is a card slash dice game called Fill or Bust. And this Fill or Bust card game has an 85% sell-through rate, which is really great, and $11.68 average sold price. This one was a surprise. I started going through the family card games and the solds. And what I do is I like to look and see which ones are see, I mean, am I seeing over and over and over again? Cause those are the ones I want to start honing in on. So this one, Family Feud After Hours was one that was selling really well. So these are ended recently and you see here about $50, $40, 42, 42, 59, like that's really good for a card game. 73% sell through rate at an average sold price of $30.89. We've got another Uno on deck. This is Giant Uno. So if you see Giant Uno cards, probably Giant anything, I would probably just double check and see what the what it's selling for because 40 bucks for a giant uno i actually saw one that sold for 150 and i was like why right so here's the the completed sold listings right there was one that sold for 150 bucks i don't know if that's like a real thing maybe because no that one's new too who knows i don't know so best offer take no or best offer so if you see giant uno you might be looking at anywhere from 30 to 50 dollars Next is a game that I had not seen before called Hand and Foot. And I mean, it looks like a vintage game, so it probably would draw my attention. Hand and Foot. And there were a number sold of this Hand and Foot game for anywhere from $35 to $50. So if you see Hand and Foot, pick it up. Here on the Terra Peak, you can see Hand and Foot, 87% sell through rate at an average sold price of $38. There were a few Monopoly card games as well. So if you see Monopoly card games, you might double check because I only honed in on a couple of them, but there were others as well. So this is Monopoly, Monopoly Millionaire Deal card game, 45 bucks on this sold listing. This one is Monopoly Millionaire. It says card game in, in this, but I think this is like the actual board game. But you can see here on these completed and sold listings, like $45, $31, 21 or 25. So this seems like a really good seller and selling for, I mean, come on, 45 bucks for a card game. 90% sell through rate on that one with an average sold price of $38. 90% sell through rate, that's fantastic. Now this is one that I know, if I saw this, I would pick this up in a heartbeat because it's Adam's Family. So Adam's Family card game, I actually thought it would sell for more than this, 30 bucks on that one, but you can see there was a few other things that are like Adam's Family puzzles. Come on, a hundred bucks. Oh, now I dream of finding an Adam's Family puzzle. But Adam's Family card games, that one, where'd the other one go? It's about $60, $49.99, you know, right around $30, $40, $50 for the Adams Family card game. This is phase 10. Now this is one that comes in a can, but there's phase 10, that, uh, and this is the dice game. So phase 10 dice. So phase 10 is generally a card game, but the phase 10 dice games, whether it's in the can or in the box, can sell really well. So here's what both look like. Maybe it's in a tin or is it a box? I, I think it's a tin. So the, the can or the tin, phase 10 dice game. So it looks like around $30, $35 for this game. There was one that was a little lower, but still a really good, still overall, it's selling really steady and really well for anywhere between $25, $35. This is called Asmodee Timeline Music Cinema Game, which I don't know this. It looks like maybe, is it a show? or a video game. I don't know. I don't need to know. I just know if I see this chick, 
She looks like she's conducting the symphony. I'm going to pick her up. And it's a little tin. I think anything that looks unusual, maybe take a double look at it. So this game, there are 31 sold and it looks like this, I mean, anywhere from $40 to $65. Looks like it's a pretty steady seller at a really good price. And then Rage. This is a Rage card game. If you see the card game of Revenge, then pick it up because, whoa, this is a, di oh, there's different card, different types, 150 bucks. So there's this Rage, looks kind of like Wolverine, oh, it's Wolverine here, $40 there. There's regular Rage, again, all anywhere from $25 to almost $40. And then there was a couple other ones, like this one's got like a werewolf on it, Rage. Pretty cool. So if you see Rage, I'm just trying to make a pun. If you see Rage, don't see red, see green. All right, cheesy, cheesy. Call it there. Pull the curtain. That's where the gong show comes in and they gong me off the stage. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. It really does help and let's people in the YouTube universe know that they should come and watch the videos and learn more about selling online. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out.